Crimes of Passion. She brought me into her apartment after picking me out from a shelf full of competitors. And maybe I was wrong in thinking that it meant something, but she chose me and I thought it was love. I admit I was naive. I knew nothing about a woman's curves. She taught me everything, took me out of my box and showed me where to go and how deeply to rub. And we spent a month of mornings playing like this. I would run along her body, leaving a trail of bubbles, and she would sing to me. She was a morning person, always coming to me early before work, naked, long limbs, smooth belly, always reaching out for me when she was wet. She'd take me in her hand, and we'd wake up together. She'd go to work glowing, and I'd stay behind and fantasize about the way she felt under me. I really loved those sighs when she first got in, as a prelude to what would come. Sometimes she would come to me at night, but only if she was drunk, and I'd know it when I'd hear her bang into the umbrella stand by the front door. From my room by the kitchen, I'd hear the refrigerator open and a long pour of water, followed by a long, loud, ah, and then she'd step in and spend some time with me before going to bed. I knew that she wanted me as much as I wanted her, the way she reached for me without hesitation, until one morning, one month, into our relationship when I slipped from her hand. We were both surprised at how small I'd gotten. I didn't fit in her grasp anymore. And as I waited for her to reach for me again, she paused and I knew in that moment she no longer wanted me with the same appetite that she had wanted me before. Perhaps I was wrong to doubt her, but I was in a sweat that night, filled with what ifs. What if she leaves me? I'll be useless. What if she never sings to me again? I knew I would break into pieces. I built ornate fantasies about losing her. But the next morning, she pulled me tighter and held me closer than ever before. She treated me like an object, and I loved it. I could still make her happy. I could still make her sing. And she was still humming when she left for work. I was feeling strong and sure, even though she'd rubbed me down to a thin slip of green. But as the day went on, I was tortured by doubt again. Why had she paused before reaching for me? I didn't fit in my dish anymore. I was plagued with nightmares of losing her. That night she came home drunk. I knew it by the familiar sound when she bumped into the umbrella stand. I heard the long pour of water and I trembled as she opened the door to my room. She went to the sink first. And when she stepped in to see me, I smelled him on her hands. It was my same smell, my same cologne. And then I thought I saw him in the bathroom mirror, but it must have been my own reflection. I tried to relax as she enjoyed me. I thought about the way that she would have my smell on her for him to smell. But she touched me in a way that made it impossible to be sane or rational about this. I wanted her to love me forever. I had to possess her completely. And the next morning I saw him. She brought him out while I was still there as if I didn't exist. He was big and strong and his well-defined body was flecked with green. He looked just like me when I was new. I looked down at my aging, thinning body and I knew this was the end. But she reached for me and I shivered with anticipation to feel her fingers press into me, but I was still wet from last night's play, and I slipped from her grasp, shot out between her fingers, hit the porcelain floor, and slid along it until I stopped by her feet. She didn't reach for me, she reached for him. And I watched him explore all my favorite curves and leave a trail of bubbles behind. 
and she, she sang him the songs that she used to sing to me. And I was worn out, but I was not done. A fury rose within me at being forgotten and so easily replaced. And I slipped under her heel and sent her skidding and grabbing wildly for the walls. Her feet came up from under her and her head hit the stainless steel fixture. Her eyes rolled back and she lay still beside me, covered in my smell. It was the perfect ending to our romance. Two crimes of passion where we both rubbed each other out. And then I disappeared down the drain. <laughs>